Hi friends, it's Deanna Williston from Our Blooming Catholic Life and I'm here back with you a little bit further on my Franciscan journey. I am getting ready to finish the book in just two short months and in three short months it'll be time to have profession. And what's that going to be like? I don't know. But here's the thing, right now I need to finish up that homework and as I'm trying to finish that homework up, there's all these resources being sent my way about profession and contemplating profession and writing your letter and setting up the interview times. And it's like, what? It feels suddenly like you've been dying for this to happen for over three years and really for a lifetime. And then suddenly the moment is here and it's the moment to declare your intentions. That's the purpose of the letter. You literally say, I want profession in the secular Franciscan order. And I know some people have told me that they were not 100% sure until the retreat right before the profession. Um, so yeah, what do I do? So hey, I, I am a super nerd. I've gotten two masters back to back in recent years. And so that part of me says, oh, well, one of my masters was a thesis program. And so I have this nice chunky thesis, you know, research I did. And the other one was a comprehensive exam that I had to defend. Okay, both of them I had to defend. At. And they have really dovetailed all together completely. It all makes sense. It's all been one journey. I didn't know that, obviously, at the time I started it. But it's really all one, one big, beautiful journey. And so when I did the research one, I did the research over a long period of time. And I feel like I've been doing that all along. I've been doing that with you, friends, doing research for you and with you, as well as I do our secular Franciscan newsletter. So I, for my local fraternity. So I've been doing tons of research all along for them and I'm reaching out to friars around the country to get lessons and things. And it's been pretty exciting and it dovetails in again. My, my master's of education has been folded into that. That's actually where I learned how to even make videos and things. There are available on, on the web and fully approved by national. Like it's, I think it's PowerPoint. It could be pages, um, a summary for each of the chapters in the Franciscan journey book. And so I think I'm going to study those slides, uh, kind of as an introduction and to just spark me are there areas that I want to go back and review it's going to remind me of each chapter in a unique way and so I think I'm going to use that to spark my study as well as absolutely pray the the uh, Franciscan crown maybe do a little bit bit of reading by St. Bonaventure and St. Francis read some Chilano right and at the same time I want to be able to you know go outside spend some time with nature if I can get to adoration that would be awesome as well and so I'm going to kind of I'm probably going to talk out loud to you guys to get my thoughts together as well as do all that studying, kind of write some notes and see how the letter comes along. I don't know. So that's my plan. I guess I'm going to do all of it. I'm going to be the nerd that I am. Um, you know, like I'm like seeing Anthony sitting there going like, don't look at me. I'm going to go ahead and do the research. I'm going to be St. Francis. I'm going to run away to my little cave in the backyard and do some contemplation. And yeah, so I'm going to do it all. <laughs> I'm going to have the full Franciscan experience, hopefully all tomorrow, and get at least my letter drafted out, um, at least outlined. It may look like a mind map or something, so let's see how it goes. And thank you for joining me on my journey, and I'll be back soon with my update. Hi friends, it's Deanna Wilson from Our Blooming Catholic Life and I'm back. You can see it's been a couple of days, maybe, a, ooh, I bet it's been a week or two weeks. So we were asked to do our, or start writing our letter for profession. Sorry, I really need a haircut. Um, and I'm going to go into where I've been, what I've been doing. So in the book, I assume you're using the journey. If you're using the journey by Lester Bach, um, there are several pages that speak directly to profession. The first one starts on 332, telling you that profession in the OFS is a special action. The Catholic person renews the call of baptism to be one with Christ and fulfill the mission of the church. And then that page tells you to go back and read pages 49 to 56 in chapter 5. Um, I think it gives you another section to go back and read as well. You can read that yourself. It starts on 332. 
And then if you jump ahead to 3064, there's another section on profession. Initial formation is ending. <laughs> you thought you were through initial formation because you were in the third stage. Ha ha. Nope, that was initial formation parts A, B, and C. Now you're in ongoing formation, which you've probably been receiving through your newsletters and your fraternity gatherings and other interactions with your fraternity, um, both locally and uh, regionally, probably. So what does this say? Now it tells you to go back to that page 366 and 367 in the book. That's hysterical. Okay. As you move to profession, make your request for profession to the fraternity council in writing. And it really only gives you these two things that you have to have in there. Acknowledge your desire to make profession and share your reasons for wanting to do this. So that's it. Acknowledge your desire to make profession and share your reasons for wanting to do with it. That's all it says it needs in. Now, friends, there is a disclaimer here. I'm not an expert. I'm just now writing my letter. It's not like I've been a member forever. But people are kind of mysterious about the letter. I think in the end, um, things not to say. I've always loved my St. Francis bird bath. Don't say that. Um, unless you're opening with a joke, maybe some of you would open with a joke. Hmm. You're Franciscan, you might be tempted to open with a joke. Do you want to talk about how much you love birds? Maybe about that time you fed a bird from your hand. That proves you're Franciscan. <laughs> um, we got so silly the other day coming up with things that you should not put in your secular Franciscan <laughs> profession letter. It really is a good time. That is a great conversation to have. I think that would be a really fun talk. Just let all those stereotypes out and joke about them and have some fun. But in all fairness, like people talk about the movie, was it Brother, Son, Sister, Moon? And how awful it is. But then you meet someone who you think is a good and holy secular Franciscan. And that movie is what brought them in. Now, have they changed a bit since that happened? Sure, we all have. And hey, I, I do have, um, this isn't a bird bath, but I've got this one behind me and I have another statue in my front garden. So yeah, a little stereotypical. You like that St. Francis in the animals and it says peace. Like you can't get more stereotypical than that. But it is a part of my journey and it does fit in. It's not just the ooey gooey sentimental St. Francis in the bird bath nonsense. But for a lot of us, that is an entry point. And it's okay to acknowledge that. That just shouldn't be your whole letter. I've also joked that I'm going to just attach a copy of my uh, Secular Franciscan Fraternity newsletter because I actually edit the newsletter. So I'm just going to have the newsletter. And then when you get to this page, it's going to have this heading. And then it's going to say like, bam. <laughs> and that's it. Like, it's fun to joke about. But okay, back to the book. What else do we need? You should be having dialogue with your formation team or formation director to become familiar with the profession ceremony as found in the ritual book. Um, it's especially important to find out if how closely you think, like, I could do this on my own. I'll just go get the ritual book. You probably have one by now. And you're like, I'm just going to study it. Well, maybe there's some little tweak that you do locally. Um, so you really want to talk to your formation director about it. The formation personnel will determine the time for some form of a retreat. If this is possible, do it with other fraternities. Mm, that's probably a little hinky right now because of the pandemic, so not going to happen. And the ceremony should be done at a Eucharist. Okay? If no priest is available, you can do it at the Liturgy of the Word. Oh, then it has very loudly um, a quote from the Continuing Franciscan Task in the Church. And it says, the Franciscan mission within the church does not consist in defending the faith against outside forces. There are other groups with that charism within the church. The Franciscan challenges to accept Francis's call to heal and to mend and to call according to the gospel. As loyal and committed Catholics, if Francis insisted we must be, we have the duty to do our part to challenge the church to be imbued with these gospel values, even to the point of prophetically speaking out when the church is seen to act against such values. This demands courtesy and courage of which we have already spoken. So that's interesting. It says we're not really there to defend the church against outside forces, but to build it up from the inside. You know, go rebuild my church. <laughs> I mean, did you, you heard him say that, right? Okay, so what else have I done with my letter? I admit, I wrote it from the heart. What, I was going to do this totally academic thing, right? 
And then I started basically writing a love letter um, that ended up with me begging, <laughs> begging the council and the fraternity to adopt me. I highlighted things from my life that make me think that, you know, I've always been a Franciscan and how they interplay into my growth once I came into the fraternity. I thought that was important to make that connection. And um, by the end, you can see a quote jumped in. Now, if you are a bit of a nerd and you want to include quotes, I want to highlight to you, don't forget Francis of Assisi, the index. Ha <laughs> ha. So you can look up your topic and it's going to give you some page numbers in those chunky monkey books. Don't forget, if you don't have them, go to the website for the Franciscan intellectual tradition and you can search those free on the web. The warning I will give you, like I was looking up the word brotherhood and it ended up with Sermon 1 to the Lesser Brothers, which is in Volume 1. Oh yeah, Chunky Monkey. This is in Volume 1, page 585. And I'll tell you, if you start looking for quotes in here, you may be lost for days in that book. Um, and that's the way I normally am with that book. It's such a great and deep reflection reading that. I was really interested. So that was actually from the writings of Jacques de Vitry. Again, it's on page 585. It was written about 1229 to 40. Um, and that is just such a beautiful writing that I, ha I don't think I read that before. And I started to go down that road. The other danger, okay, so you're like, well, I'll just go to the internet and look up quotes by St. Francis of Assisi. But a lot of times those quotes aren't true. They are mistranslated. They don't tell you where they came from. It gets crazy. Another great resource it, when you're writing it could be the Franciscan Prayer Journal. I believe I've told you about this before. Before I actually was able to start formation, I went in here. Um, this is just lovely and very reflective. This book actually works for me in many ways to spark deeper reflections than this book. Now, there's nothing wrong with the Franciscan Journey, and it has its own place. Um, it doesn't cause me to go as deep into reflection, but I learned a lot about the secular Franciscan order and um, interacting with other people and dialogue and lots of other great topics. But when I talk about the charism, this book really helped me more. So this is a book I could turn to and go back. As well, you may want to have your rule. Now, I admit I freaked out. I couldn't find it anywhere, but I know there's always a copy up on my bed, except for right now because it's here in my hand. Mm, better make sure I put this one back. Um, another option is, I admit, one day when I was up at Graymore, there's a lot of Lester Bach books up at the Graymore bookstore. So I have these as well. This is the follow-up to the journey, what it takes. So this is the time after profession. This would be the next book, and it's really skinny. There's not a lot there, except um, the other one there. Hold on, let me see. This is from 2013, so this is fairly recent. Now, it's just like confirmation is not the end of your religious education. Profession is not the end of your journey. Even this book, when you get done, there's another one. Capturing the Spirit of Francis and Claire. Let's see what the date is on this one. Ah, I don't even see a date. I don't see a date at all. That's kind of fun. Um, so this one's a lot thicker. But it actually says to do each chapter in two sections and that this one actually is a leader's manual that's really going to help you unpack it. I never heard of a leader's manual. Do they exist for all of them? Like, I'm so curious. Um, I'll compare them here. Oh, let me take my phone out of the profession. So this is The Journey. This is the book on Francis and Claire. I think The Journey is bigger. This is not rocket science here. And this guy is definitely tiny, but you may be able to break them up into multiple lessons. I don't know. I haven't really looked. I was just excited to see them and grab them because somebody in my fraternity was talking about using them for ongoing formation. So they could absolutely be something else that might open your eyes there. Um, and that's it. So what am I going to do now? Well, I've been bothering people left and right, but they're not. I, I've realized no one's going to tell me what to write. No one's going to give me a hint or a clue. And again, I feel like that has to be because somebody once told me when you've met one Franciscan, guess what? You've met one Franciscan. We are all so different and yet so united in our charism. And so each letter is going to be a little bit different. 
you just have to say that what you desire is profession. Oh, now I've lost that page, right? You had those two things that you desire profession. You're committed to, oh, look, I'll read it from the end of the letter, what they want. That you want profession, right? And and that you're willing to ongoing formation. You know, mention the Holy Spirit. He's been our formation director all along. Mention the rule, the gospel. You've got this. We can do this, friends. So my next step is honestly, I've gone ahead and printed it out. And that's when I found out my Sendamiano cross was not working. So I took it out. Didn't want to, but I took it out. Um, maybe I should be able to get a sticker or something. I don't know. Or I'll try to put it back in. But for now, I've printed out a copy of my letter. And I'm going to send it to my... <laughs> using the words my sponsor she lives about an hour away that's why i'm mailing it to her but um normally you would probably just meet for lunch or dinner or something and go over it so i'm going to send that to her and we'll see what she thinks oh i'm down two weeks to get this letter in so ah, pray for me um i'll do another video these are getting a little long so i'll do another video to update you on how that goes but if you're trying to write your letter um, really sit around, talk to your friends, talk to your classmates. Like how, what do they see of the, the Franciscan charism in you? So, you know, have your sit. Yeah. You may just want to call an informal meeting. All the candidates and their sponsors come and you could have a nice little chat or you could do it like you do on kids retreats, you know, where you have those little mailboxes, you know, like little kids have for their Valentine's and put in there. What is someone's top Franciscan charism. How do you see me living out the Franciscan charism? What are my strengths? You could even put in what are your weaknesses um, and put them anonymously in the cans and let that be part of your discernment process and maybe help you to write your letter. If you've got other ideas, friends, put them in the comments below. God bless us all on this beautiful journey. And where's the journey going? To grace. God bless you, friends.